Lights, camera, Jacob. All right. Oh. Oh, why do I look so fucking sickly? I look like a fucking ghost. Why do I look like a ghost? Why do I look like a sick ghost? <laughs> oh, right. Ow. I know why. Wow. All right, video. Let's just do the video. You guys like it when you go on TikTok and you watch like three perfect TikToks in a row and then you get interrupted by a phenomenal ad with phenomenal acting, a phenomenal product, and even a better like hashtag or caption. Well, we're not looking at that today. So if you want good ads on TikTok, you better call 1-800-A-DIFFERENT-APP. Are you satisfied by ads? Well, Today you won't be, thanks to me. Hey, how are ya? And welcome back to another YouTube video. My name's Jacob Andrew Sharp. We've got a doozy, D-O-O-Z-Y. Look it up, that is, this is probably in the dictionary. And you know what's right next to the, 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 the spelling of that word? It's a picture of me, cause this video's a f doozy. And you know what that means? There's nuggets in here. If you like doozies and videos by Jacob Andrew Sharp, then you're gonna love nuggets. If you're having the doozy, you might as well have the nuggets. Call 1-800-VIDEOS-BY-JACOB-ANDREW-SHARP for a lifetime supply of nuggets. Uh, what are nuggets? Just shut up. So yeah, today we're gonna be looking at weird TikTok ads because I don't know if you guys have been on TikTok ever. Uh, they keep getting worse. The TikToks are staying the same. TikTok's fine. It's like 90% bad videos, 10% good videos. but then then there's this super weird world of TikTok ads. I'm not talking about ads for the app. I'm talking about ads that they put on your For You page. And oh my God, they upset me so much. You know, when you see ads, like the, like, I think the most common one for me is the one where it's like, what would happen if California invaded Texas? And then it's just like a war game. Hey. Stop that right now. That ad makes me so angry. I obviously wasn't able to find it for the video, so maybe we'll find it, but uh, probably not. Also, what would it be like? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Also, I don't want to know what would it be like if California invaded Texas. I don't want to know what could actually happen. How about this? Just watch the news. Just watch the news, cause it might happen. I don't know if you've been following what's going on in the United States, but it hasn't been so good for like ever. So right now, I don't wanna think about the potential civil war that could break out tomorrow. Also, if California and Texas went to war, it would be like if a bong fought a lizard. It would be like if weed fought guns. There it is. That's what would happen. And that's not a good game. So today we're gonna be taking a look at TikTok ads like that one. And we're gonna be having some sillies and some goofs, but most of it is just gonna be me screaming at my camera and hoping that you guys like it. Why do some guys cut everything bad out from their diet? They start hitting the gym, yet struggle to burn off body fat. Where guys like myself occasionally eat pizza, burgers, and food that I enjoy, yet somehow walk around with six pack abs 365 days a year. Now, before you say it's genetics, you're wrong. It actually comes down to your ability to control your number one master fat loss hormone, norepinephrine. Nor what? I thought you might say that. Okay, this, is, this ad is going on too long, but right away, shut up. Shut up, man. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Nora Epinephrine, whatever that is, if it's real or not, shut up. First off, what are you selling? Hey man, what are you selling? Are you selling looking like a guy who's dipped in plastic? Because if you're not, this isn't a good ad. Shut up. I wouldn't want to look like you. I don't want to look like a pile of rocks. He looks like if someone like constructed a snowman out of balls from a ball pit. You know what I wish they would promote? I wish they would promote like realistic things with fitness apps. I wish they would just be like, hi, I'm Jacob Sharp. And I love treating my body the way I think I should. I love lying down with a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream and then taking a three hour nap. Now that's what I call an ab workout. Some people might call it low level depression or a low level anxiety attack, but I like to call it happiness. So look the way you look, eat what you wanna eat. It doesn't fucking matter, we all die. Sorry to get so existential right away, but I just don't trust him. I don't trust him. He looks like Homelander. He looks like a villain. Well, the thing I don't like about this or just like fitness apps or fitness ads in general is that it's just, it's just body shaming. It's just people being like, you don't look so good and you should look like me and you're stupid if you don't. Me good, you bad. How about 
we just be normal. How about you just leave people alone? People can just eat food and look the way they look and it's fine. It doesn't matter. Sorry my stomach doesn't look like a cobblestone road. Okay? I like it. I like it the way it is. I like that my belly could potentially be a trampoline one day. You ever seen Hop on Pop? That's the way to live. Become Pop from Hop on Pop. Already, I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> Let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick moment and tell you guys a little bit about today's sponsor, Native. Native makes things like deodorant, shampoo, sunscreen, and even toothpaste, to name a few. And guys, one of the best parts about Native is that they're vegan and completely cruelty-free. Native makes sure that they use simple and recognizable ingredients, stuff like coconut oil and shea butter. And something that I really love about Native is their brand new 100% plastic-free packaging. It's the same great Native formula, it's just in a different, more sustainable package. And it's made with 90% post-consumer recycled paper. Native is also completely committed to sourcing their paper from responsibly managed forests. I'm a stinky little guy. I stink bad, I stink rotten, and everyone's sick of it. But ever since I switched to Native, I've been smelling better than ever. But the best part about Native is that there's a 72-hour odor protection. So it doesn't matter. All day, I'm smelling great, even after a workout. Dude, the coconut and vanilla? Whoa! I love this one. It smells kind of nutty, but then it also smells kind of sweet. I smell like a dessert. I smell like a little treat. I'm a little snack now. But I've also been using the cucumber mint. This guy's really great. This guy's super fresh and super fun. When I wear this, I feel like I feel like a like a cool salad. I smell like a little flower. The best part about this deodorant, it's easy to use, it's not sticky, and it dries really quick. And guys, it gets even better. Normally, three deodorants cost $39, but by using my link and entering code SHARP, you'll get three deodorants for $26. That's 33% off. And there's even more! With code SHARP, you can also get an extra 20% off any shampoo or toothpaste. So guys, it's time to give your skin and your body the products it deserves. So go check out Native and you can start smelling like me. Also guys, don't forget that checking out sponsors like Native really helps out the channel and it helps me make more videos for you guys. Also, we love supporting friends here on the channel, friends like Native. So thank you so much Native for sponsoring this video and thank you as always for the nuggets. These nuggets, they smell good. Okay, back to the video. You want to wear a car? Your kid's scraping our car. What's the big deal? I have the legendary hero Lucky. I can kill thousands of zombies in seconds. My kid can scratch whatever he wants. Ma'am, you need to pay the owners for damages. Listen, I've got Lucky. She's practically unstoppable. Why do I have to compensate for damages, noob? Noob, noob, noob. Stop it. <sighs> oh, how dare you yell at my kid? Don't you know I've got Lucky? Who cares? I have four legendary heroes. Lucky, Becca, Maddie, and Nicola. I got them ages ago. Together, we survived over 100 days and built a settlement with over 10 million power. You still want to do this, loser? How did you do that? I started the game with Lucky. With her help, I quickly wiped out all the nearby zombies and rescued legendary hero Becca. Becca easily helped me build my settlement in seconds. Then, I entered the gift code, Lucky2022, to get tons of resources to help build my settlement. Survival? That's a piece of cake for me. So right now, you're going to pay them back and take care of your kid. Oh, that's it? That That's the whole thing? Dude. That's not a situation. Also, these aren't real people. Who is this for? Like one, nothing was re was resolved. Nothing was fixed in this situation. A kid vandalized a car and they just talked about a mobile game. Okay, well, while you guys talk about Lucky, I would like to see some insurance, please, because my car is still fucked. The only thing that this promotes is that like be better parents. How about that? Get off your mobile games. Get off your mobile games and parent better. Man, what? And it's it's almost like these ads are made by like Disney or CW. If you like war, then you're gonna love moms protecting their kids while they vandalize other people's property. When was the last time you saw like shitty parenting and you were like, huh, what character would I be in an apocalyptic mobile game? Hmm, would I be a lucky? Or would I be the person who should stop this child from vandalizing a car? Also, I don't know if any, if you guys are familiar with these game ads, but I get them all the time. And it's always the same game. Go to war, that's awesome. Hey, enough of war, get over it. Get a new game. I don't know if you guys have heard, but war isn't super great all the time for anybody. Also, okay, how about this? Just, <laughs> just stop trying to connect with gamers. I don't know if you've met gamers, but they're not trying to connect with people, I think. Stop, stop trying to be like, Pog, epic, noob. Just be like, hey, download this game. Or don't, it doesn't matter. Thank you. Hey, what the hell's wrong with you? I just got lucky. <laughs> okay, so it's the same game, but I love, I love that acting right away. Hey, hey, 
Hey, what the hell is wrong with you? You can't understand a word he says. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, dude, he has the legendary hero Lucky. If you got lucky, you can grab anyone's food as well. Two days later. Hey, how dare you grab my food and run away? Can't you see my Lucky? I've had Lucky with Max Label for ages. I also have Maddie, Becca, and Nicola. Together, we built a settlement and survived more than 100 days in Doomsday. Don't take my word for it. My shelter level was maxed out now. It's more powerful than yours. You must spend a lot, you jerk. I didn't spend a penny, noob. I started the game with Lucky. A legendary hero I rescued from the hospital. She killed all the zombies near my shelter and rescued Becca. Simple as that. <laughs> okay, so as long as you have the right characters and you're good at a video game, you can steal from people. I love that they just are introducing characters like we all know who they are. Yeah. I started with Lucky, but then I got Becca and Nicola. Oh, you don't want to see those two together. We all know about that, right, guys? Right, guys? Right, guys? What the hell's wrong with you? What's with mobile games and being so horny? Why is it always the horniest people making these mobile games? Why is it always characters that are like, this is Lucky. She's got green hair and giant bazongas. She's got mommy milkers. And that's what you use as her secret power to beat the game. Check out Becca. She's hot and she's kind of crazy, but that's why we love her. And then you go to select Becca and she's like, aww. Uh... <laughs> I hate I hate the way people make uh, games. People in video games and anything. Stop portraying women like that, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Come on. Come on. Yes! You love to see it. You love to see it, Napoleon. Napoleon. Dude, if this is how Napoleon looked like back when they were leading France... They would have won. If we get three of the same huntresses, like the duplicates for the SSRs, for example, we get some cool special skins. No. No. Games are too horny. I'll say it. Also, this isn't a game. This is, is, what is this? What is Idol Huntress? I don't think I've ever seen this show or I've never seen this anime. I haven't. Like, this isn't a game. You're just collecting women. That's not a game. Hey, dude. Collecting women is kind of a crime. Don't do that. They couldn't have picked a weirder guy to do this ad. The guy in the ad looks like Where's Waldo if no one ever found him. Hey, TikTok, let's slow it down a little bit. Where are the community guidelines on this one? Like the guy looks like one of the scientist trainers in the original Pokemon games. <laughs> I got a couple more. He looks like he would call his mom a bitch for hogging the Wi-Fi. He looks like Chucky from the Rugrats if Chucky grew up to be an incel. I go by Chuck now. Ugh. Hey game, stop being so horny, stop being war. Like, I don't know what the game is. You know when you see the ads and it's just like someone farting in another person's face? Hey. What's the game? Is the game pink eye? Then I don't want to play that game. All right, moving on. Okay, yeah, here we go. Now we got some juicy ones. Here comes the boy. Is what? So that was an ad for Cash App. Cash App, you know, for cash. I don't know what this has to do with Cash App. I guess that's their mascot. You know, Piss Man, the guy who gives you all the cash. That also is not a real thing. Yeah, the Piss Man gave me a big bundle of cash. The Piss Man? What do you mean the Piss Man? The Piss Man, the man who's made of piss? The man who's made of pee pee and he gives you all the cash. No, 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 that's just a man who smells like piss who gave you five bucks. That's a completely different thing. I don't know how I feel about the piss man. I mean, I do like that he's got a cheeky, he's got a cheeky little bum there. Look at his little, look at his little pee bum. Pee is stored in the bum. When you got a bum as big as mine it is. What's with investing apps and like money apps making terrible ads. They're the worst. They are the worst offenders of making terrible ads. Like whenever you see like a wealth simple or like a quest trade commercial, and it's just something that's right out of a soap opera. Sarah, those fees are how I get paid. I know, Janet. I just can't afford to support both of you. Mm -hmm. 
Like, it, it's just, it doesn't make sense. At least with this, it's like a little creative. Good for Cash App for branching out. I don't know. I'm sick of seeing investment apps. Like, you, do you guys remember when when crypto uh, crypto.com was on TikTok for like a second before everyone made fun of it? Here, I'll bring up one of those too. You know you've made it when your cards used to sound like this, but now they sound like this. Boo. Dumb. Dumb video. That's such a stupid trend. I remember when that was a trend to be like, now it's made of metal, so you know it's money. You know it's more money than plastic. Fuck all these money apps. Fuck crypto. Fuck all your online stupid nonsense with money. Hey, internet, get a new thing. Get a new thing. Fuck investing, fuck stocks, and fuck crypto and NFTs. Shut up. I'm sick of being told that I need to be rich and strong. It's stupid. How about I'm poor and small and I just lie down forever? How does that sound? That actually sounds pretty good to me. Whatever app that is, sign me up. Like we get it guys, crypto. Money's different now and I don't care. I'm so dumb and stupid that I just want all of my money in cash under my bed. That's how money should be. You have your money and that's it. I'm sure that's stupid and I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments, but I don't care. I shouldn't be able to buy a house with pictures of a monkey. That's stupid. Now, as much as I hate when investing apps and and uh, and big big companies like that, I hate when they, you know, make ads like this, uh, but I do love Wendy's. I don't know if you guys saw this or remember, but Wendy's actually dipped their toes in the old NFT game a little bit, and I thought it was great. Why pay for dollars for real chicken strips when you can pay thousands for these yum pixels? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's something I would get. Put that in the blockchain, huh? And by the blockchain, I mean my little mouth, okay? Let's get more, let's get more tendies and more nuggets on the blockchain, okay? And that was Wendy's Canada too. That proves it. I don't know what that proves, but Wendy's Canada, you guys got it. I was a little nervous when I first saw this because it came with a link to an actual NFT that Wendy's made, but Wendy's did the right thing and all the NFT proceeds went to the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption Canada. So there you go. NFTs went to something good for fucking once. Good for Wendy's for doing that. That's hilarious. Sorry, sir, but this table is- Oh, we've got another game ad. Okay, for Rise of Kingdoms. It's all like the same games. It's like Rise of Kingdoms, Top War, War Tomorrow, Super Gun Awesome War, Rise of Guns, Fuck, Another War. Like. <laughs> Okay, we get it. War. Is reserved for high-ranking players only. My power is at five million. Isn't that enough? Sorry, sir, but your power isn't over ten million. How about me? Eighty million power. You're our SVIP. What? It's because I knew that technology could lead me to victory. I started with Egypt with a tech speed bonus, and since my technology developed faster than all the other civilizations, I was able to unlock the iron smelting technology earlier, thus entering a new era and unlocking the unique elite soldier. In this way, I was able not only to have the attack bonus of the Egyptian bowman, but I also had the most advanced technology on the battlefield. So, you know, technology improvement is key. You've done your homework. Respect. Nerd! Hey, nerd, shut up. We're on a date. What? Okay, first off, if this was a real restaurant, I'm not going. Also, if this was a real date, this would not play out like that at all. If you tried, if you tried to show how many points you had in a little war game, you'd get kicked out of the restaurant. Oh yeah, so I'm having a really nice time tonight. Yeah, me too. It's really nice getting to know you. You're, you're so cool. Oh my, oh my God. Thank you, I, I was gonna say the same about you. I think you're so cool and so interesting and, and I, I just think that, you know, I think this is really gonna work. Uh, hello? Hello? Did you, uh, did you not hear me? I was just saying that uh, I think this is really gonna, gonna work. Uh-huh, oh yeah, thank you, thank you, that's awesome. Sorry, uh, what are you doing? Are you, are you playing, are you playing a game? Uh, yeah, I'm playing Rise of Kingdoms and uh, I'm, I'm at about 85 million, uh, 85 million points. Uh, okay, uh, cool, uh, so you're into gaming. Uh, I, I have Rise of Kingdoms on my phone. I'm only at about five million points, but uh, you know, uh, you only have five million points? So what, I guess you're expecting me to get the bill tonight. 
Huh? You only have five million points? Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what does that? What do you mean, pay the bill? I am gonna use real money. I thought maybe also we could split the bill. Like, uh, hi, sorry everyone. I just had to interrupt. You only have five million points. Sorry, uh, this guy is obviously a dud. Do you want me to kick him out of the restaurant? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's not gonna work out. No, 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 no more ASMR in advertising. Okay, we get it. You're online. Shut up. I'm sick of people in advertising being like, I uh, just found out about ASMR. Maybe we should do that as an ad. Gen Z would love that. A little. I think that'll really help us sell more Wonder Bread. Stop doing that. That made me not want to buy Truebill. And maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm burning bridges here because maybe Truebill could be a true sponsor one day, but I don't care. If you're going to if you're going to do stuff like that, I'm not in. Yuck. All right, and then we'll move on to my favorite TikTok ads. These ads, they, they're 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 top tier. You can't beat these ads uh, because uh, they make me giggle. And they make me uh, they make me think about the way I sleep. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude, what is that? This is like a a sleep tracker, I guess. First off, none of this is realistic. Dude, are you crazy? Are you insane? Do you think that if I laughed like that in my sleep, that my partner wouldn't leave me immediately? Do you think that if I was like, shoo, shoo, ha 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 awesome joke, awesome dream joke, that was... That was hilarious. Do you think that my partner wouldn't just be like, get out of my bed. Dude, Eilish would be gone in two seconds. Are you kidding me? If you were laughing in your sleep, I talk in my sleep, I fart in my sleep for sure. But if I laughed in my sleep, bye. See ya. I also love the fart noise. Cause let me tell you, I sure do fart in my sleep. I don't laugh in my sleep, but my ass laughs like crazy. My ass laughs are out of control. I fart so much in my sleep. All of us do. If you try to tell me that you don't fart in your sleep, you're a liar. There's no way that in the middle of the night, you're not just like, We all fart so much in our sleep. That's the only reason that I would actually get that app. And I'm glad that they know that. Advertise farts more. That's what I'm all about. Also like, what if you needed to use that app seriously? Could you imagine seeing that ad and just being like, oh, I should get that app. Just in case I fart so hard, I die in my sleep. Huh? Man, you guys ever Dutch oven yourself so hard you don't wake up? Call 1-800-FART-SLEEP. Why buy a fartress anywhere? That's for all the Canadian folks out there. You guys remember that ad? Like, I get that you need to like track your sleep and track how you're sleeping, what your REM looks like and all that. But I don't know. I don't want a voice recording of me chit-chatting in the middle of the night. That seems like a horror movie to me. I also do feel bad for the types of people that are like, I desperately need this app. I desperately need this app. Please, I need a way to track my farts in my sleep. Hi, my name is Jacob Sharp and I was never able to keep a relationship because of my constant farting in the middle of the night. Whether it was the thunderous, terrifying sound or the horrible stench coming from my ass, I had people fleeing in the middle of the night constantly. But that's all in the past thanks to Shark Tracker. When I joined Shark Tracker, I was able to set alarms and prepare for my nightly toots. Then I would sneak away, quietly fart in the bathroom, 
and sneak off back to bed. That way I could feel shameful and alone about my nightly flatulence and my partners were none the wiser. And now my dating life has been better than ever. Join Shark Tracker today and get rid of your shameful stink. You know how we you know how we track our farts in this house? We shard ourselves awake and then go back to bed. That's how you do it. Well, there we are, guys. There's a there <laughs> there's a big group of terrible ads. Ew, I keep burping. I'm sorry. I'm trying to show you stupid ads and then I keep burping and not remembering what I'm supposed to say, and that's stupid. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot who doesn't like these ads. I think it's so ridiculous that when people are actually making good content, that places like TikTok are trying to fill the spaces with ridiculous ads and they don't even monitor the ads. It's ridiculous to me that all ads are, are just boobs and farts. That's what the only thing selling games, boobs and farts. Hey, Top War, make better ads. Make better ads, please. Hey, Shart Tracker or whatever the fuck the thing is called. Make better ads. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I'm I'm uh, I'm getting uh, frustrated as always. But dude, maybe comment down below your least favorite ads that you've ever seen. Uh, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because subscribing to my channel guarantees you a lifetime supply of nuggets and doozies. Doozies like this one. Doozies like other past videos of mine. Uh, I'm on tour right now with my best friends, Curtis and Dean. Uh, so come check us out on tour. Uh, the tickets are available at curtisconnor.com but you better hurry because these tickets are going fast you gotta be quicker than that you gotta be quicker than that all right just or just come to the show uh, it's a really fun time don't forget to check out my merch check out instagram twitter all that stuff i gotta get out of here because i gotta go uh i gotta go fart in my bed okay bye <laughs>